This episode's FTR shoutout goes to App App. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, friends? I'm not your friend, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Okay, welcome back to Fish for Thought. Millie and I hope that your Monday is starting off just right, and we're here to help you get better. Because it's time for Fish Tank Review. Ah, come on, come on. Review. Man. That is absolutely beautiful. It's an ADA, very clean, super high quality glass. The Aquascape is second to none. Wait a second. <laughs> the person screen recording this is watching a Fish for Thought video. How fitting, of course. FFT fans unite! The Bala Shark is the real problem here and this might be suboptimal for the discus. Yeah, I feel like if anything, the Bala Shark is the top dog of the problem. Millie just jumped onto my leg and like face planted because she's bad at balancing. Good thing my leg is soft. I mean, my leg is hard and full of muscle. I'm hard. What's actually hard is trying to decide whether this is actually a good fish tank or not. And apparently it's hard for Millie to decide where she wants to stay. I mean, you were there from the start. Why did you move? You could have just stayed there. Discus really do better with, you know, a bigger school and bala sharks as well. There has been the argument where if somebody knows how to scape a fish tank this well, they must also know what's okay and what's not okay with stocking. So in a way, it's even worse than people who don't really know how to stock a fish tank and do crazy Noah's Ark stuff like this than someone who does but choose to do it anyway. So you have chosen death is basically the meme here. What do you guys think about this? Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. There's obviously pros and cons to this. I'm leaning towards like, yeah, you could have stocked it with anything. Why have you chosen death? If not for the stocking choice, I mean, this fish tank is by far one of the best five out of fives I've ever seen in my life. But let me know if this is a zero out of five. Hey guys, quick pause. You guys all heard of the Easy Green, very easy. All-in-one fertilizer designed for low to medium light aquariums, containing all essential nutrients that plants need. Very easy dosing, as you can see, one pump per 10 gallons. And they're fish, shrimp, and snails safe, so you can go ahead and dose without losing sleep. But have you heard of Easy Iron? Now, contrary to popular belief and the popular myth that only red plants need iron, iron is a very important macronutrient and oftentimes lacking a bit in our aquariums. It, of course, does power up the colors of our red plants but also just as much as green or whatever else colored plants that you have it's a ferrous iron supplement and it's easy to use as well one pump per 10 gallons and you can dose one to three times per week as needed it is also tested to be fish shrimp and snails safe so go ahead and get your easy green easy iron addition on aquariumcoop.com for your dosing needs aquarium at my APES class I had to google what APES stood for and it's advanced placement environmental science. Oh, uh, that hurts. Not just environmental science. No, those are for casual peasants. It's advanced placement. But then how did you do that? How is that a byproduct of being advanced placement? Like, are you sure the AP doesn't stand for academic probation? Because that's what it kind of looks like. What kind of advanced environmental science are you doing? It's so advanced that maybe you're preparing humanity for Mars and you're starting with the fish. Adriel Newcomb sent this fish tank in. Looks like a 10 gallon breeder with a beautiful bed of fish right in the middle there. Could be a solo bed of tank, which is just perfect. Water, wisteria, java fern, and nubias. My favorite part is that centerpiece wood. This is simple, no BS, bed of fish tank done right. The filter looks like it's perfect for a bed of fish, keeping the flow down while still filtering the water. And I love that the night crew is on backwards. Like they took out the little feet of the night crew and flipped it and attached it backwards. And then it's probably glued or nailed on to something on top. Very neat technique there. 4.45 out of 5, keep it up. My cousin's iridescent shark. He has had the bigger one for about 13 to 15 years. He's changed three tanks because the tanks she was in before were even more smaller than this one. He won't give her to someone with big tank as he believes what he has done for her is enough and that she is happy. That's so sad. 13 to 15 years. This is a perfect example of like the resilience and the will to live are different from each fish, even if it's the same species of fish. And when by chance one of them is very, very resilient, the person taking care of it now suddenly thinks they are in the right because their fish is not dying, right? Also, he only feeds them once or twice a day. Please be rude and as hurtful as you possibly can in the comment. I'm gonna read all your comments sitting right next to him and I hope it'll change his mind. This is not what we're... Nope. 
Try again. First of all, how many times is he supposed to feed them? It, once or twice? He only feeds them once or twice a day. I'm starting to think OP is the fish abuser right now. Please be rude and as hurtful as you possibly can. That's your friend, right? Look, nobody in the history of anything has been persuaded by getting them angry. Imagine saying, you suck, you're stupid, and the guy's like, oh, you're right. I have a change of heart now. What did you want me to do again? Not how it works. Tell me, when's the last time that worked? Hmm? Fish tank sent in by double ward? Very true, you should always double ward. One single ward sometimes is enough. Oh, really? What? This fish tank is taken from the FFT Discord. Link in the description below. Thank you for your support. Beautiful levels to this tank. And I love the different carpet you have going on. You might be trying to grow two different kinds of plants for a carpet and you've separated it with the Choyo wood. Very lightly stocked with some little tetras or rasporas and a centerpiece honeygorami, it looks like. I hope this grows out really well for you. For now, a 4.55 out of 5. Keep it up. My relative's fish tank. Well, this is just, I love how blatantly simple it is. Yeah, this is my relative fish tank it's a, it's a tub with a filter in it that's not even a filter that's just a power head it's got that like disgusting polluted tinge to it it's one of those containers you pick up from walmart five seven eight sort of uh single-tailed goldfish in there perfect perfect and schlock i look into the comment section and first thing i see is hi chris i agree with chris when he gets here bro i didn't even say anything yet how could you already agree with me what if i say that that is the most beautiful tank I've ever seen in my life. You still agree with me, you fish abuser? <laughs> She's a rather old lady who doesn't have much time or experience. Her kids gifted them to her, but the plastic pond broke. I'm currently trying to get the funds together to get her and them a new tank. Well, thank you so much for the effort, Teef Doll. Johnson sent this fish tank. Seems like a square sort of fish tank. It's got great depth into it. Some really vibrant looking guppies, perhaps some antlers too. Sand substrate. It's very open, I like that, but I don't know about the hue. It's a very warm hue. It's like, looks like around 2000, 2500. Not my favorite color profile. Not Millie's favorite either, apparently. What's going on, bro? You probably want to use bigger wood and bigger rocks because this is quite a big tank. Right now it's a 3.6 out of 5. Keep it up. Hell yeah, LFS, finally! Woohoo! This is what we've been waiting for. This was all about Millie. Our bettas are in filtered and heated established water. Oh, we do not recommend bowls or vases. Can I get a ooh? For more information, please see our friendly team. They're friendly and they don't gatekeep. It has begun. Boys and girls, the local fish stores have started to move. The bonus secret comment of this episode is dwarf hair grass. Nobody. Me when I make rapashi. Some of you might be confused. Chris isn't rapashi or crested gecko. Yes, but for those of you who don't know, rapashi is named after a crested gecko or fish slash gecko food. It's an instant mix. You just add water to it. But I totally identify with this. I feel like a complete five-star Michelin chef. I feel like Gordon Ramsay himself when I'm preparing rapashi's food, rapashi, or also called Pangea, which is also Pangea's food. So if you're new to the channel, that might have made no sense. Yeah, every time I'm making like a booyah base for my crested gecko. Sauce reduction, lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? You donkey. Millie, what happens if I put you in between two pieces of white bread? What would they call you, Millie? Yeah, that's right. An idiot sandwich. Anybody want to play tic-tac-toe with me on Chris's face? What? I don't even know how people come up with this stuff. Michaela Phipps sent in this fish tank. Looking real naturey. The stirrings of a early carpet down in the bottom. Natural looking substrate. Got some fallen leaves. Floaters up top. Not sure what it's going to be stocked with. Maybe a bed of fish. I was stocked with like chili rasporas. 4.1 out of 5. Keep it up. Crab of the year time. Sponge crab. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. That does look like a cool, a cool ass crab. Not going to lie. I guess it does deserve crab of the year. I mean, look at it. It's amazing. Sugoi Desne. Taken from the FFT Discord. This is from Nate77. What an awesome paludarium. Look at the beautiful terrestrial plants up top. Got a fog machine going, creating mystical little mists. And the hardscape is solid down below. I don't know if it's enough water volume for any sort of fish. And I'm not exactly sure how big this tank is because the proportions are a little off on camera. But if there was enough volume of water, I would say maybe some guppies, some tiny little live bearers here or there. And I don't know, could you put something like a dark frog in here? Would they drown? Probably not. I'm not sure. Fire belly toad. I'm sure those can swim properly without dying. Let me know what you think should be stocked in this tank. Or Nate, if you're seeing this, let me know what you have in this tank. A very cool 4.7 out of 5. Keep it up. Well, maybe don't cram 10 fish into a bowl and 6 of them wouldn't have died. I had 10 fish 
my aquarium, and I came home to see that six of them died. How many are left in the aquarium? Why is this a question? Who comes up with this? Why would- Okay, the, the correct answer is there's 10 because, you know, just because they died, they're still in the aquarium. Yeah. And that's a good time to end it right there. Welcome back to the end of the video. End of the video club, let's go. Thank you for your support watching the video all the way through and boosting the algorithm. Yes, the magical algorithm. Uh, Millie and I hope that- Millie and I hope that your week is going just you want to stay on my arm what what do you want millie and i hope that we started your monday off just right and that you have an amazing rest of the week the secret comment of this video is water wisteria go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video and make a cute little sentence with it without seeming too obvious if you enjoyed please smash that like button and subscribe there'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet millie don't forget Tell them, don't forget, get their hands wet. Okay. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, carry my fin rod from Carasiformes to Perretra Road on. Hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang, so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.